Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen. In these videos, I guide you through creating a cute little tile, typically one tangle at a time, and we're using the Zentangle method of drawing, which simply means we're doing one little stroke at a time to come up with a cute repeatable pattern. So today I'm using the pattern Mel Mel by Adele Bruno, who was a certified Zentangle teacher. I'm using a Micron PN plastic nib pen, a graphite pencil for shading, and a blending tool called a Tortillon. Also using a two inch by two inch Zentangle brand tile called the Bijou tile. Feel free to use whatever you have on hand. Okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to start right away with my pen and I'm going to draw in a little border. Typically we do four dots and connect them, but I want a lot of space for this tangle today. So I'm going to just aura or follow along near the outside of my tangle, making a very thin border. And I'm letting it be a little bit jagged or wobbly as I go. Kind of a deckle, deckle edge. So all the way around. All right, and then to create Mel Mel, I'm first gonna show you on a piece of scrap paper. So this is one that is so beautiful and so fun to make, but you kind of need to get the hang of it. So I'm just gonna show you. We start with a curved line either going to the right or to the left. I'm just going to head and go do one to the left. And after we make that curved line, we're going to make a loop. And now I'm going to make four loops and each one is going to come out and then bump into the other. So I'm going to go from this one to that one kind of trying to hit that middle of the loop. And then I'm gonna come down like that. Now, if you wanna make three or you wanna make five, it's okay if you want them to overlap, that's also okay. But we're doing a loop, try to hit that middle, the middle, the middle, and come down. Now I might've had room here for one more because they were spaced out. If I do it to the right, then my loop is going to be to the right. Okay, well, let's get started. So I'm gonna try to fit four of them on here. So my first one, I'm gonna curve to the left and I'm gonna keep it kind of low. So I'm gonna come up from here, make a big loop over there. like that. Like I said, it takes a minute to get the hang of it, but it's so cute once we do it. All right, now I wanna put a tall one in. So I'm gonna to go to the left again. So I'm just gonna come up like this and I'm gonna go higher, put in a loop. Now I'm gonna put a small one in here and I want it to cross over this one um, just to, you know, not make them all be so straight up and down or organized. So I'm gonna loop the opposite way. I guess not the opposite way. It's the same way I've been going to the left each time. Then I want to put one more in here, which means it's going to have to go behind this tangle. So I'm going to do my stem. I'm going to leave a little space, though, in case I want to aura that one. I'm going to come up here. Like that. It's okay if they go behind each other. So this one, I just lifted my pen and came out the other side. So that's Mel Mel. It doesn't even have to have a stem. And I'm gonna show you one more tiny one right here because 
when I was playing around with it, when my lines all went over each other, it gave kind of a cool effect. So I'm gonna go to the right this time. I'm gonna show you if I just overlap, look how cute that is. But there's no right or wrong. You're just playing and having fun. Okay, so now inside Mel Mel, Adele Bruno and a friend of hers um, came up with all of these beautiful designs to put inside of them. So we'll just do a couple of them. On this first one over here, I'm going to put a line and two dots. If you would like to curve that line a little bit, you can. One more over there. And this big one up here, I'm gonna do something where we start at the, the little point at the bottom of each petal, and I'm gonna come up and curve towards the top. I'm gonna do that on each one. It's not in half, it's just a little, little edge there. And then inside each of these, I'm going to follow that curve and put in a spiral. Look how cute that is. Put in the spiral. You can see where the ideas would be endless. Okay, in this next one, let's see, I'm gonna go down here. And I'm gonna put in a little upside down teardrop and then another one. Upside down teardrop and another one. For this last one, if you've got a great idea, go ahead and fill it however you'd like. I'm going to put in these long, thin, upside down teardrops. Like that. Now we can aura a couple of them. We don't have to aura, but when I aurad mine, I actually started in that little point there. And then I came out and went around each petal. And then back up to the point. I'm gonna do that to this one down here. I already have it crossing some lines, that's okay. Nobody cares what your lines look like if they go over or under each other. Another fun little enhancement she did is to add some little wispy lines, almost like a fescue, coming out. So we can do that in a couple of them. She also had something where she made these cute little V shapes in between the petals and added a dot. And then if you want, you've got this cute little shape in here where your stem is made. If you would like, you can color that in. You could add some striping. You could add some polka dots. 
or you could simply leave it empty. And I'm going to put some little leaves on here and I played around with all kinds of cute leaf shapes. There's endless leaf shapes, but I didn't want to take away from the little flower shape. So I'm just going to do fescue. So fescue is just a curved line that ends in an upside down teardrop. You can do that on both sides. You also could cross over and do one like that. You can leave them open or color them in. This one's gonna need a longer one. So I'm just gonna follow that stem up until I want to jump off of it and make that little shape. Come up this stem, figure out where I want to come off the side. And then because I have room, I thought it'd be cute to put the little Zentangle mascot, which is a snail called Bijou. And Bijou just reminds us to slow down, enjoy the process. So let me see if he's on the back of the Bijou tile. He is right here. Little bijou snail. So to make this snail, I'm gonna do a spiral and I'm not gonna make it too perfectly round. So I'm just going to go like that. I'm gonna make his little back of his body over here, just two little segments. And then I'm gonna do two segments up here for his head and some long antenna. It looks cute in our little garden. And now for this frame, just to be a little more relaxing since the flowers were kind of a lot of work, I'm just gonna put dashes. If you have something prettier, fancier you'd like to put, go ahead. But I find just making these lines is nice and relaxing. Take a second to breathe. Do some close together, some further apart. Then we'll add a little bit of shading It'll be done. Loosen your grip on your pen. There we go. So cute, so pretty. So to shade this one, put my top on my pen. I'm gonna get my graphite pencil and I'm gonna shade on the inside of the frame by adding just a line of graphite all around that inside. take my blending tool and I'm just going to soften and push that out. Look how cute that looks. Soften it and push it up and out. Then I'm gonna do one on the outside of each of those little flower shapes. So I'm essentially just tracing around it with my graphite. 
because I want these little flowers to just sort of pop off the page. And then because my tortillon is already a little bit full of graphite, I'm going to put a tiniest bit in the center of each of those. Add a shadow over this one. And I'm going to go right over the other shape that I made, giving that a little shadow too. I'm going to go ahead and do all of mine. And even the tiny one at the bottom. And just softening that out a little bit. Pushing it away from the object to create that shadow. Even go around the outside of Bijou if I'd like. And that's it. If you want to take your tortillon and you want to put a little bit in the center of each one, you can. They really don't need much. There you go. Mel Mel, initial your work. On the back, write the date and a journal entry about what's going on in your life, something on your heart. And thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.